Christians refer to the fall, uh, they're referring to the incident in Genesis 3 where the serpent comes to the first man and the first woman that God has created, Adam and Eve, and he tempts them to rebel against the Creator. Adam and Eve fall into the temptation uh, and they sin. They eat from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, which God told them not to eat from, uh, and they sin. Now, the reason why this is so significant uh, in Christian thinking is the fall or the sin of Adam and Eve did not just have consequences for Adam and Eve. It did have consequences for them. Uh, they eventually died for their rebellion against God. But it also brought about repercussions for all of the human race. So when Adam and Eve sinned, they became enslaved to sin, in a sense the Bible says. But also when they brought forth children into the world, their children were also brought into this slavery or bondage to sin. So Paul will say in Romans 5 that through one man sin entered into the world and by this one man death was brought into the world. So this is the, the big idea. When they sinned, when they fell uh, from God's goodness, uh, they brought sin into the world. As a result, death came into the world. Uh, and God's curses came into the world. We know, for example, that God cursed the ground. Uh, God also said there will be greater praying and bringing forth uh, ch children into the world. Uh, but this big idea is that death came into the world. Separation and alienation for the human race and their relationship to God. And it's transmitted uh, through all the posterity of Adam and Eve. So every human being that's related to Adam and Eve, and that's everyone, uh, is affected by the sin. Now the counterpart to the fall in Christian thinking uh, is the resurrection of Jesus Christ. So the Bible also teaches, Paul teaches in 1 Corinthians that all in Adam die, but all in Jesus Christ are made alive. So by blood we're related to Adam and Eve, we're in bondage to sin, but when we repent of our sins and trust in Jesus Christ, we're united to a new head, Jesus Christ, and because we're united to Jesus Christ, we now not, we move from a life of death into uh, a new life, uh, eternal life with God forevermore.